Hello world, Lockpick and Dev here. I have an Olmont Rekeep, Rekeepable Padlock. Um, <laughs> see on the bottom, it has a few numbers there. The patent ID. I have the stamp on the back, Y1 Keywig. So I plan on making a key for it. And see on the top here too, there's a little hole. I suppose you use to rekey it. I don't know how to rekey this thing yet. I've picked it before, but we're going to try to pick it here. And figure out how to rekey it when I get home. I felt like three. That was two. There's five. So there we go. All my archival padlock. See, there's no spot for the screw in it. So I'm assuming that this hole has something to do with rekeying it. I'm going to get home, figure that out, and take it apart. And right here behind us, this is Twilight Lake. It's another nice little uh, lake here in Washington, United States. All right, everybody. Talk to you in a bit. All right. I'm back with the Allmont rekey. Still, we got see, we still got it picked. And to rekey this, we actually have to stick a little metal piece down this hole. Oh, wrong way. This thin little metal piece I had to make down this hole to hold the driver pins up at top. So similar to the uh, tool that you use to hold them up in a euro. And uh, this is a real pain in the butt. And I've seen a lot of lock pickers. Um, there are other stuff everywhere on accident, including a few of the grates, because this thing is that frustrating. So uh, I'm making absolutely sure that that's going to stay in place as much as possible, as much as possible. I know it's this thing is such a clunky thing; it's definitely not not perfect. So uh, then, once that's there, you want to keep that from moving to hold the driver pins up, and then you want to pull out the core. Kind of getting caught up on that tool there just a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's all right. So clearly we got one of our ball bearings out of place. You see the shackle and spring just dropped. And this is stuck out far enough, so I'm going to try to. Grip it with my fingers and hand pull it the rest of the way out. Come on, work for me here. Hopefully, something on the end of this isn't stuck. stuck there. I'm trying to keep here we go. Come on. As you can see my tool wasn't quite perfect the whole way up. Oh I think it probably got caught in that little notch there too. But we're definitely past the whole core so let's just go ahead and get the rest of the weight out. So 
so close and it's so frustrating. I don't want to lose it. Okay, it's practically there, but... Oh, no. Okay, so it is there, but the dang tool is caught up on the side. I can hear the driver pins falling. Yep, <laughs> I can. The tool got out of place. So, let's just... Oh, yep, there's all the driver pins, so fuck. There we are. And the ball bearing. So you can see how the flashlight here. This tool is supposed to hold them driver pins there. So now I'm going to have to reshape it. And put these driver pins back in while moving this little tool to hold them in. So I will be right back. And um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add, I pulled out some security pins over here. I'm gonna upgrade it. I'm gonna go ahead and add some security pins. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut the key for this too. But before we do, let's show the bidding because I didn't have a key for this before we scrap them. Let's see what let's see what we picked at least. Hold on. I'm not missing a pin, am I? Nope, doesn't look like it. So yeah, you can see all just all long pins. So not too crazy. And it looked like it may have been missing a pin five. I didn't see one come out. I see five drivers here with one master uh, master pin. So this, I'm assuming this was probably master keyed in some way uh, because of that master pin and having an empty chamber. That's a tactic I've seen used in ASA 700 before. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and pin this um, back up and uh, get a key cut for this, then I will uh, come back and show how to put it back in. This lock is such a pain to rekey and to handle when you take it apart. I actually made a whole separate video on how to do this. So to see how everything works, look for the next video. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.